channel it's your girl Molly and I'm back with another video if you're a returning subscriber welcome back if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and also click the bell so you get a message when I upload a new video so in today's video I'll be showing you how I achieved this super cute super fluffy perm rod set on my 4c hair and guys this was my first attempt and i was very nervous about it but i think i did a pretty decent job i don't know you guys are letting me know in the comment section um but yeah i'm really happy with my results and um i used these perm rods that i found at clicks um they're from the brand uh Orega beauty i hope i'm saying that right and these are medium perm rods and they come in sets of 10 and i actually purchased um, three packs of these and I used all of these to do my hair today um, and I think each pack cost 60 Rand if I'm not mistaken and I also used some goodies from my wash day box from Natural Hair Co. This is the October wash day box, um, last month's box and last month we had some goodies from Design Essentials and I used most of these products to achieve the style that I did today. I used them to wash my hair, condition and style my hair and um, this box costs 550 Rand. It's still on sale on the Natural Hair website. I will leave a link in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing it. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get into the video. So this is not going to be a detailed review of the October Wash Day Box products. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial of how I achieved my perm rod set. So I won't go into too much detail about the products for the sake of not making the video too long. The first thing I did was shampoo my hair with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Sulfate Free Shampoo. This is my favorite shampoo at the moment. I love it so much. It gently cleanses my hair and scalp without stripping them of too much moisture, which is really important to me because I shampoo my hair on a weekly basis. As you can see, it levels up really well, so a little does go a long way. The shampoo also claims to detangle your hair, which is very ambitious, but I will say that the lather is very slippery, so it prevents your hair from tangling up. When I rinsed out the shampoo, my hair was there feeling super clean, soft, and moisturized. Next up was the Design Essentials Almond Butter Express Instant Moisturizing Conditioner. I went ahead and applied a generous amount of this product on my hair. You guys know that I usually work in sections when I'm washing my hair, but this is one of those wash days where I didn't want to spend too much time in the shower, to be honest. And um, I wouldn't say this is the best conditioner I've ever used on my hair, but it applies really well. I didn't detangle my hair at this point because these days I don't like detangling my hair in the shower, but this conditioner does have great slip for detangling. When I was done applying the conditioner, I went ahead and covered my hair with a plastic bag, followed by my heat cap from Indalo Hair Essentials. I love this heat cap guys. You just pop it into the microwave for 3 minutes and the flax seeds inside absorb the heat so it applies indirectly to your hair for about 30 minutes which is great for low porosity hair. When the 30 minutes were up, I rinsed out the conditioner and I just loved how soft and moisturized my hair felt. So this is me the next day. I was actually too lazy to do the next steps the previous day so I just applied leave-in conditioner and twisted up my hair. So today I'm going to re-moisturize my hair with the same product which is the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Detangling Leave-In Conditioner. I just applied it to my hair in sections and worked it in. This leave-in wasn't as hydrating as I expected it to be to be honest. I had really high expectations but it wasn't the most moisturizing leave-in I've ever tried. Either way, it got the job done and I was able to detangle my hair using my tangle teaser. I would usually finger detangle or use my white tooth comb, but today I'll be blow drying my hair using a comb attachment, so my hair needs to be thoroughly detangled. So guys, before I blow dry my hair, I always spray the session with a heat protectant. Um, I already have a very detailed video explaining how I blow dry my hair, so please check it out if you need a more in-depth tutorial. So here's a comparison showing you one side of my hair that's blow dried and the other side that's still shrunken. You can definitely do a perm rod set on shrunken hair, it's not necessary to blow dry your hair like I did. I blow dried my hair because I wanted it to have volume and you'll see later how having smooth stretched hair helped me to apply the perm rods. You can also stretch your hair using the African threading method and I also have a very detailed video on how to do that as well. Um, but yeah guys, I'll keep experimenting to see how the style looks on shrunken hair and I'll keep you guys updated. So now that my hair is stretched, it's time to apply the perm rods. And guys, full disclosure, the struggle was real. It took me a while to get the hang of this technique, especially since I started with the back of my hair. So yeah, prepare yourself mentally in advance. Um, the first step is to make sure that your hair is super detangled and smooth. So I went back in with my blow dryer on those sections that I felt was starting to shrink up again. 
Next, I applied the Design Essentials Twist and Set Setting Lotion. I first applied a very small amount to the whole section, not too much, you don't want your hair to shrink up again. I then applied a very generous amount onto the ends of my hair and making sure the ends of your hair are damp really helps you to smooth your hair onto the perm rods later. I then used a fine tooth comb to make sure my ends were smooth and tangle free. And then I twisted up the roots of my hair using two strand twists to prevent my roots from looking too puffy. So this is what each individual perm rod looks like. It has a cap on the end that you can remove like this. And then once you've twisted your hair around it, which I'm going to show you in a second, you close the cap again and this piece of elastic will hold your hair in place. So let's try the first section. The trick is to wrap your ends around the perm rod first and then roll the perm rod until your ends are covered by the rest of your hair. Once your ends are secure, you can begin to twist the perm rod towards your roots like this. Once you reach your roots and you can't twist anymore, you roll the perm rod as close to your scalp as possible and then you close the cap to secure your hair in place. And that's it. It does take a bit of practice to get this right, I also struggled, but you just have to keep trying until you get the hang of it. So again, I'm blow drying the section to make sure it's really smooth. I then apply a little bit of the twist and set setting lotion to the whole section, but not enough to cause too much shrinkage. Next, I drenched my ends with a setting lotion to help them stick to the perm rods. I then use a fine tooth comb to smooth my ends and make sure they are tangle free. And once I've done that, I just try and twist my roots to prevent any puffiness. I then apply the perm rod by twisting my ends around it first, and then I rolled it up until my ends were covered by the rest of my hair. Take your time with the step so that your ends are nice and flat on the perm rod. Once my ends are secure, I twist the perm rod towards my roots like this, and then I roll the perm rod as close to my scalp as possible before closing the cap and securing my hair in place. So guys, I'd say the steps that I struggled with the most were attaching the ends of my hair to the perm rods and also securing them onto my roots tightly enough so they don't move around too much. So take your time with that until you get it right. It does get frustrating at some point, but just keep pushing until you master the technique. Um, the way you apply the perm rods will really affect how the style looks when you remove them. So don't rush the process, take your time and make sure your hair is nice and smooth. So I ended up using 30 perm rods in total and I wish I had more perm rods so I could work in smaller sections. So I suggest that you purchase an extra pack or two before you attempt the style. So because my hair was blow dried, it didn't take that long to air dry. I just let my hair air dry overnight, but you can also sit under a hooded dryer if you have one. To remove the perm rods, you just take off the cap and unravel it slowly like this. Take your time with the step because you don't want to disturb the curls you've worked so hard to create. As you can see, the perm rods form these beautiful chunky curls and I was really happy with my results. When I was unraveling my hair, I also noticed that the twist and set setting lotion made my ends feel really crunchy, which I guess makes sense because it's supposed to hold your curls in place. If you can't get your hands on the Design Essential Setting Lotion, you can alternatively use a setting mousse or any styling product that's lightweight and holds your hair in place. So when I had removed all of the perm rods, I started separating my hair into smaller sections. This creates volume, but it can also cause a lot of frizz, so take your time and gently separate your hair where it naturally wants to separate. This part of the process can really make or break the style, so like I said, take your time. Start by unraveling the two strand twists on your roots and then gently separate your hair all the way down. Guys, I was really impressed by this setting lotion from Design Essentials. This was my first time using it and it really delivered on the hold. Um, I'll say the style lasted about two days or so and I think that's because I did it on stretched hair. So once my hair started to shrink, I lost the definition. So I think the style lasts longer when you start on shrunken hair. So once you're happy with how much you've separated your hair, you can go in with your afro comb and pick your roots to give the style a bit more volume. Notice how I'm not combing through my hair, I'm just gently picking the roots. You can then go ahead and shape your hair until you're happy with how it looks. Okay guys, so these are my final results and I'm really happy with how my hair turned out. I think I did a decent job um, for my first attempt. And um, my hair doesn't feel as crunchy um, as it felt when I was separating the sections. And honestly, I think the crunchiness means that the twist and set um, setting lotion is going to hold my hair and the style's going to last a bit longer. It's not going to get frizzy. I mean, we'll see in the next couple of days. Uh, maybe I'll update you guys on my Instagram. Make sure you're following me there as well. And um, yeah, guys, overall, my hair looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, and it feels super soft. 
and now that I've tried um, a permanent set for the first time and I kind of have an idea of how to do it I'm really keen to try um, the smaller versions of the perm rods these were medium perm rods and I feel like because of the size of the perm rods or the thickness um, they gave me really uh, big um, thick curls instead of like the ringlets that I was kind of going for um, I do like the results um, I like that you can change the size of the perm rods to kind of suit the style that you're going for but yeah I definitely do want to try the smaller ones I think the smaller ones are pink um, if I'm not mistaken, I've seen them in clicks as well, but they only had one pack, so that's why I didn't buy it. Oh, guys, I almost forgot to mention something really important. If you have short hair, or if your hair is shorter than mine, then I really recommend that you try to look for the smaller perm rods, um, like the pink ones I spoke about earlier. I've seen those at clicks. And um, the reason why I'm saying you should look for smaller ones if you have shorter hair is because if your hair is short, you're going to struggle to wrap your hair around um, the thicker perm rods. And the process of wrapping your hair around the perm rods multiple times is what creates um, the curls in the first place. Um, so if you have shorter hair, um, I'd suggest using a thinner perm rod so you can wrap your hair around the perm rod more. Um, I'd say I have medium sized hair, uh, medium length hair rather. Um, so I was only able to wrap my hair around the perm rods like two, three times, two and a half, I'd say. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind when you're purchasing your perm rods. Okay guys, that's it for me. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you learned something. And let me know down in the comment section if you're going to give these perm rods a try. Um, it does take a while to get the technique right, especially when you're doing the back of your head. Um, but yeah guys, I think the results are worth the effort. And um, obviously practice makes perfect and you'll get better over time. I'm definitely going to keep practicing and um, fine tuning my technique. But overall, my first attempt, um, I think, came out really, really good. And yeah, guys, please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also screenshot this video and share it on your Instagram story so I know that you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.